I know what you're thinking. Milan, how can I apply the scientific method in my daily life? Well, let me show you. This is what remains of some very nice soap from Lush. Uh, it's a shop in central Melbourne sort of area. But as you can tell, the soap just kind of melts really easily and wastes away, wastes away very quickly. So this was a much bigger, like a handful of soap about five to ten showers ago. And basically it just wastes away very quickly. It smells very nice, wastes away too quickly. So the unscientific thing to do would be to say, well, I'm not going back there again because the soap just wastes away too quickly and it's a waste of money, blah, blah, blah. But uh, if you know your science, you will know that you can't make these calls from a sample size of one, one piece of soap. You need to repeat the experiment. So I will allow them one more chance and I will specifically tell them I want a soap that will not waste away as quickly as that. Um, that's not an entirely scientific way to go about it, obviously, but I'm not just gonna have a hissy fit and you know, never go back there again. My face, it's there. But this way it's easier because I look at the screen and then I can talk to you. Um, so yeah, I'll go back and I will have a sample size of two. Two pieces of soap. Hopefully the next one lasts a lot longer. Otherwise, if not, then I will go somewhere else.